So this is where we have our ceremonial um, events. So when we have our Independence Day, this is where we have it. Um, we have the military, the police, the civil servants, school children, the parade all here. And then uh, this place is packed and then there's a parade that goes on and then they march and then the president gives a speech up there. And then there is a, a Pan-Africanist um, torch right here. If you look right in front, there's a soldier. Drive up driver. Catch us one teach him, no, we see I know. You gotta get out to get this picture right here. This picture is authentic. What do you want for us, Mitchell? So, this flame of fire or torch is lit during Independence Day to keep the fire burning, the fire of Africa burning. Here, right here. And, uh, yes, good guy. That's it. Okay, so this is it, and one well, of the symbols on it are Edinkra symbols. Edinkra, Edinkra, we'll talk more about Edinkra symbols. They have all of these symbols have meaning. And then there's a, a statue dedicated to unknown soldiers, to all the soldiers who fought for Ghana's independence. And then right across the street is the Black Star Gate. The Black Star Gate. And on top of it, you have the black star brought from Marcus Gavi. We'll go, we'll drive around it, the circle, and then you can take pictures of it. Okay, and then on top of that monument is written, is written Freedom and Justice, AD 1957. Okay, yeah, so that's what we have here. Okay, so we're going. Yeah, cool. And then on, on here, you can see the Independence Arch. And then that's called the Black Star Square. So the big Black Star yeah. Square. Yeah. And then you can see the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. This side we call it the Gulf of Guinea. The Gulf, Gulf of, of Guinea. Guinea. Yeah. All right, so you can take pictures of it as we go around it. This family cruising around Independence Square. So these are monuments built by um, our first president, Osage Fulot Akwanakuma, also to instill patriotism to Ghana and then to the rest of Africa. And so these are symbols of Ghana. And we say that Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Yes, it is. That is it. Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Ghana, the blessing of Africa. Yes, I really believe Ghana is the spirit of the continent of Africa. Wow. And it's strategic position, you could see. Where Ghana's position is very strategic. It's right at the heart, close by. And so this, um, if you look again to this road where the motorbikes are going, we are going to go that way. That road leads to the... A new Accra yep. gun, I yep. like yep. that. I like that. Christian Bob Runabout. So this road goes to the Christian Bob Castle. You know, I told you about the three ex-servicemen who were marching towards the Christian Bob Castle. Um, very soon they are coming. Their bus is coming right up here on my left. If you see, you see three ex um, some bust here on my left here. There's a monument here. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay. So these were this is a, the bus entering the crossroad. So this crossroad here, this is where they were shot at. Oh. Okay. Yes. 
And that's part of the revolution. Yes, yeah. that's part of the revolution. So at this junction right here, they were shot and killed by a white soldier. Damn white devils, man. Yes. So this, this road, or this drive is called the Castle Drive. It goes to the Christian Bull Castle. Built by the Swedish, took over by the Danish, and then later on to the British. And then when Ghana gained independence, it was the seat of government. So it was late. we had a new place called the um, Jubilee House, which is now the seat of government. But still the place is under government um, installation. So they don't open it on weekdays except on Fridays. And people can go there and see the place. Uh, this new government has turned part of it into a, a presidential museum. And then on my right also is a park called Ashumje Park. One of our sitting president who was called um, Professor John Evans Atamels died when he was president um, in, in his office. And he is buried here. He, Ashumje means peace. He, when he became president, he always spoke about peace. Peace. He died in 2017. No, oh, sorry, 2015, 16. Yeah, I forget, I forget the year myself too. <laughs> Can somebody help us? Yeah. 2012. 12? Yeah, yeah, because he, he, he died, he died, he died, he died, he died in the previous, previous government. The, yeah, he died. And then Mahama 2012. came in, yes. came in, so yeah. And that's then the, right opposite as the white building you see in front of us, that's the Christian Bog Castle. The Christian Bog Castle. Can you see it? Right on your right. The white building. Can you see it? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So this area, um, during the colonial period, all the buildings you see here were owned by the British or the Europeans. But now they've been handed over to descendants of them. So here you have <laughs> names like Van der Poy, names like um, Kingston, um, and all these names that you would hear, uh, Gorgeous Bank, all these European names that you hear can let you know that they are descendants of Europeans, uh, Europeans who had relations with the African um, women and, and the children that came out, out, out of them. Yeah, but now all these buildings are owned by the government. They are all government properties. Yeah. The interesting thing about the Christian Bog Castle, it was taken over by one of the ethnic groups here in Ghana. They are called the Akwemu. Akwemu, um, there's a chief from a, a town called Atimpoku. And then at Timpoku, the, the statue of one of the chiefs, he took over the castle. He came in, uh, they were very strategic. They came in to trade in guns and gunpowder. When they came in, the people had already had gunpowders in their sashes. They put it in So when they bust the guns, they, they took over the castle. So to date, they have uh, keys of the castle as part of their regalia, traditional regalia. And so anytime they celebrate a festival, they let you know that we, the, they are called the Akwemu people, we, the Akwemu people, defeated the Europeans. So here in, in, in Ghana, there are some ethnic groups who actually fought the Europeans and to take over their, their castle. But the sad thing is when they took it over, they, they again returned it back to them. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And this is the... And then the, to, to your left is the... Or in a giant sports stadium or the Accra Sports Stadium. Can I rename it Black Star Stadium? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't rename it Black Star Stadium. <laughs> we have a lot of stadiums around, so yeah. You call it Accra maybe Sports maybe Stadium. I'm going to build my own then. Black Star Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yes.